sitting in, in our job marketplace is, is, is almost like the new smoking. Sitting, you get static, the blood flow doesn't go like it should be, going through your muscles and your, and your neck and your back. You get all tensed up on the computer and all that tension, all that tightness, it typically goes to the, to the scapula or the upper part of your neck. And that's where stress goes, that's where the muscles get real tight at. That tech neck, it's a real, it's a real issue in the United States, uh, but it's usually just from the, just being static so long and being so tensed, where the muscles get real tight. And those are usually the trap muscles. So if you're gonna sit at your desk all day, it'd be nice if you had like a five pound weight or 10 pound weight where you could do either, you know, some overhead dumbbells to move the muscles or some light biceps or, or some tricep curls or shoulder shrugs, just to loosen up the muscles throughout the day. I think it would be good if you, if you could do that or get, you know, get one of those desks that you can move up and down. They have them now at several places. You can get them now that you can elevate that desk. Uh, but the main thing, just overhead activity, uh, just even shoulder shrugs or even jumping jacks without doing the jumping, just motion over the head with your, with your arms and your shoulders can help definitely loosen up the muscles. Sitting uh, puts a lot of pressure on the lower back, just like it does the neck especially in the lower back. So when the, when the person sits uh, biomechanically, it puts about 30% more pressure and strain on the lower back. So it's, you, have a, you have a patient with a, a real hot disc herniation, they are very, very, very rarely sitting. They're, they're, up, they're on standing up, uh, but they rarely sit down.